Hello everybody, welcome to tonight's edition of the Nanny Coke Newsroom with Bob Kalinowski. Tonight, we start off with breaking news. Coronavirus hits home as a case, a positive case, is identified at State Correctional Institution at Retreat in Newport Township. Tonight, I show you the face of a nurse fighting the COVID battle in one of the hospitals. And I spoke with a longtime educator in Nanny Coke, a retired one, who many of you have not heard from in a long time, I'm sure. So wait till you hear his or her voice tonight on the Nanny Coke Newsroom. But like I said, we're starting off with breaking news still out of Newport Township. Uh, the state confirms that an employee of SCI Retreat has contracted the coronavirus. Now, as you know, that's big because the state just this week, just three days ago, uh, made SCI Retreat in Newport Township the quarantine zone, the quarantine facility statewide for every new inmate, every new parole violator. So we do what we do know is there's an employee who has been identified as being infected with the coronavirus. We do know that it's not a correctional officer. We do not know when's the last time that person worked. Well, I actually know, but I don't have it confirmed. Um, so we don't know when the last time that person was on the job. And that's significant because in the last week or two, hundreds and hundreds of inmates got moved out of SCI retreat, possibly when that person was there and infected, and sent to other prisons. The point of that was, we're gonna have a lot of space open in SCI retreat to bring all the new inmates in, and all these new inmates come in, they say they're getting screened at least once, twice, maybe three times before they come in, and it's gonna be a quarantine zone here at SCI retreat. The problem is, possibly, we don't know that this employee might have already been infected but when the other inmates were in SI retreat and then they got sh transferred away. So that's the breaking news today out of Newport Township. So to all my friends and family and everyone I know and everyone that you know that works at SCI retreat, as always, we're thinking about you. Um, you guys are among the people on the front lines of this. Uh, in a, a very confined space with a lot of people. So we're thinking about you always, and um, stay safe, as I always say at the end of the show, but stay safe out there, my friends. Okay, in other news, you might see I got myself another home haircut today, or last night. Um, so that's the second one since we started Nanny Coke News. Um, so I, since being quarantined at home and cutting my own hair with a little help, from people, um, I saved probably like 50 bucks so far uh, with you know haircut price and tip. So that's pretty big news, right? Uh, um, one of the stories I worked on today, you'll see in tomorrow's edition of the Citizen's Voice, there's a local church that's still gonna have people congregate on Palm Sunday. They're gonna congregate in their cars in the parking lot of the church. And the service is gonna be on the radio and the pastor's gonna be at, in the front end of the parking lot. They're gonna put the palms underneath the windshield of the car, and then they're gonna do something which is very interesting, a personal communion and a cup. Um, and there's a little grape juice at the bottom of the cup, a personal communion cup, never heard of it. So check what church that is in, in tomorrow's edition of the Citizen's Voice. One headline I saw today uh, in the Citizen's Voice in our paper was about changes to some they're cracking down on recycling in many towns around here because of people not recycling the right way. Um, so check that story out because we all need to be recycling better. I'm guilty of sin of it a lot. I throw bags in there at times. I don't clean out the things as much as they should be cleaned out when I put stuff in, in the recycling. So we all need to do better. I know it's coronavirus 24-7 now, but the environment is 24-7 as well, uh, helping do our little our part. Um, one thing that disgusted me about that story is Wilkesbury officials were telling me people were throwing dirty diapers in the recycling. Now, how disgusting is that? These people are doing a tough job, or it is these people who work in the recycling trucks, and imagine having to deal with a dirty, dirty diaper coming out of the uh, recycling bin. So, let's uh, give it up to all those hardworking men and women out there who do that, jo that dirty job. Um, Jack the Cat feature of the day. So yesterday, I had a blanket that. A small blanket that's on the couch normally that I throw over me once in a while when it might be cold. I folded it up really quick and I threw it on the bar in the living room. No sooner did this cat jump on the bar, he thought it was his bed. I was just folding it there because there was another blanket I had to fold and I was going to put it on a chair and then he's sitting there all day. 
Jack lately has been finding new... Well, every couple months he finds another spot he likes. Now it's on top of the bar. Now that I put that blanket up there, he doesn't want to give it away. So that's Jack the Cat feature of the day. My laugh, smile, and cry feature of the day. I saw this photo on Facebook yesterday. So this is a photo of Nanny Coke Native. I knew her as Melissa Rand. I think she's married now. But she is working as a hospital nurse uh, in the COVID unit. Um, I think this was, she's a traveling nurse right now. She's from Nanny Cope. She does per diems at Geysering and Wyoming Valley. But she's in Coatesville now and in working in the COVID unit. This is a pretty striking photo. Um, you know, this is uh, the face of the people that are doing the hard work in, in the epicenter of this virus. So good work, Marissa. Uh, stay safe out there. And thank you for keeping everyone healthy or trying to at least. Um, and the Cliff Lewis Random Act of Kindness Award today goes to, I think I said earlier in the show, there was a former Nanny Coke educator that many of you haven't heard from in a long, long time. I was happy to get a call today that he wanted to talk to me. Um, Mr. Carey, James Carey, my idol, ended up being the intermediary between me and this guy. And he's like, one, John Cachetis wants to talk to you. Now you know Mr. Cachetis is a legendary teacher, a legendary baseball coach, and was our principal who used to, us in high school, used to yell at us all the time for acting up. But I did have the chance to talk to him today, and what did he want? Mr. Cachetis wanted to send a big check to that family I've been talking about for the last week and a half, the family of 13 who had the fire. Uh, he wanted to know how to get in touch with them, so I gave Mr. Cachetis... Uh, their phone number, and I'm assuming they're going to connect, and he's going to be writing them a check. So, Mr. Cachetis, thank you. Uh, you earned the Cliff Lewis Random Act of Kindness Award tonight. And here's some bonus coverage for you. I um, taped our call with Mr. Cachetis. I asked him if he wanted to give you all a message of how he's doing, and I, and I don't even want to surprise you how great he sounds, but he sounds great. That's terrific, Bobby. Thanks. And hey. you keep doing the good work that you're doing. I, pr I appreciate it. So, so um, you, you, we, we enjoy anything you do, believe me. Thank you. So we've been, um, since I've been working from home because of this coronavirus, I've been every, I've been every night doing a video, um, okay. and I, I've been putting it on the internet. on, And uh, I want to let the people right. know that I talked to you today because uh, it's all about Nanny Coke. I saw I wonder if you had to say anything to some of your former students out there that might be watching my show. I'll, I'll, I'll pass along the message. Yeah, just stay safe and, and follow the guidelines. You know, don't go out unless you have... By the way, I haven't put shoes on for 22 days now. Oh. So that tells you where I am. Gotcha, gotcha. You're, you're taking, you're taking uh, everything seriously like you should. Well, it was great to oh hear... Oh my gosh, yes. It was oh great to hear from you, Mr. Cachetis. You sound great. And yeah, I, for, my, for my neck, for my neck up, I still have it. You got it, man. After that, be, below that, not too well. Well, but we we want to hang in there though, because we enjoy we enjoy seeing what you guys what you guys are doing. I I appreciate it, my man. I Good. Take great, I take great pleasure of former students ex succeeding, in, you know, in many things. Thank you, and and uh, way to go with uh, trying to help this family out with the donation. So that's great of you. Yes. Nice family. Nice family. All right, Mr. Good K. People. All right, Mr. K. It was great to hear from you, man. We'll talk to you soon. Yeah, you got my yeah, number. You got my number now, so call at any time. All right. I, I, I didn't want to do that. I asked Mr. Kerry to take care of that. You got it. No, anytime, man. All right. Thanks, yeah. guy. Bye. Okay, that's a wrap of tonight's Nanny Coke Newsroom. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And stay safe out there.